I'ma tell you what a G told me. Cash rules everything around me. Gotta get that dough till it ain't no more. Gotta stack Hello everyone, welcome to MPZ Game Day. This is Zach Cohn here with Raheem Stevens. Let's start off with updates on all your favorite fall sports. First, the boys golf team finished off their season 8-2. They all put in a great effort at section qualifiers and our very own Ryan Higgins qualified for sections in the spring. Great job on a terrific season, boys. The girls soccer team beat Rhinebeck 4-0. Abby King scored two goals. Kylie Murphy and Core Butler also scored. The girls also beat Anior 4-2. Core Butler had two goals. Abby King and Taylor Martinez each scored a goal. Good job, girls. The boys' soccer team is 8-4, and they're also on a 7-1 run. Way to step it up, boys. The girls' tennis team has sections today. Jessica Stow playing singles, and Julia Cohen and Alice Lee playing doubles. Best of luck. The girls' swim team had OCIAAS this past weekend and sections this Friday. Good season, new balls, and good luck at sections. The girls and boys' cross country teams, well into their season, have M Halls this Friday and sections next Friday. Make sure to wish the teams good luck. Although the girls' volleyball team face a tough loss in Marlboro, so the girls are ready for sections next Thursday. They're the ready. girls are really coming together as a team. All right, sounds great. The New Paltz football team is 4-4. Four and four. They have a game this Saturday, this Saturday, at 3 at Deed Stadium against Spack and Kill. I hope to see you all there, all of you, every single one, to support your school. Good luck, guys. Now, over to Athlete of the Week with Lauren Cossover. I'm Lauren Cossover here with Athletes of the Week. I'm here with... Aaron Getman and Danielle Watts, both a junior and a senior on the boys varsity soccer team and the girls varsity soccer team. So guys, what positions do you play? I play center midfield. I play defense. What is the most exciting moment you guys have encountered on the field this year? I have to say being rond out under the lights in double overtime. A lot of great support from the fans. is a great game. Um, Taylor Martinez scoring the goal against Rondau, leading the score to 2-1, to one, and we won. What do you think is the greatest improvement each of your teams have made this year? I mean, I'd have to say in general our team is miles better than last year. We have more return. We only lost one player since last season. Um, so, you know, just all together, just a better team, better team spirit too. Um, scoring goals and winning our first game yesterday. Congratulations, guys. All right, well, are you guys ready to compete against each other in the Ultimate Soccer Challenge? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. OK, so Aaron and Danielle both have to dribble to the first mat, and then they have to put the ball in between their legs, jump over the two mats. Then they have to, but before they get to the second mat, then they have to juggle the ball on their knees and then make a basket at the end. So the winner of our challenge was Aaron Getman Pickering, AGP. But it was close. How do you think you pulled that off, Aaron? Uh, I think I've been training all season for this moment. It all came down to the big day, and you know, I was just ready, just ready for the competition. Well, it shows. How do you feel being defeated by AGP, Danielle? Yeah, I don't really want to talk about it. All right, well, <laughs> thank you guys for coming out here and showing us your stuff. Thank you. That's yeah. all for this week. See you next week, folks.